What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial. In today's video, I will be teaching you how to turn yourself into a Dragon Ball Z character. And who I'm using for this video is my favorite rapper of all times, Tupac. You feel me? If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time I drop some heat. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So you want to start out by finding your references picture. So what I like to do is I like to go straight to Google or Pinterest and I download a lot of pictures of some Dragon Ball Z characters like different poses they do or stances, facial expressions. Then I go look for pictures of the subject I'm using, like if I'm using the artist or whoever I'm, I'm trying to turn that Dragon Ball Z character into, I find a lot of different pictures of them as far as like different pictures of their arm, if they got tattoos or different poses or facial expressions they make, the type of clothes they wear, the jewelry. And then I find a lot of pictures and then I take it straight to Photoshop and place all these pictures on one so I can have a nice little reference. Basically, we're gonna start out with setting our pen. You gotta have a tablet, a digital art tablet to be able to get this option. Let me see. We'll set our pen. Pressure. And this is the only brush I use ever. Whenever any any video you see me make, this will be the same brush I use. And you get that brush by setting your pressure on your. Just set the pressure. Now and, and all it is is I press light, and I go hard in the center, and then I come out light. Then it just give it that effect. So if you were ever wondering what brush I use, this the brush you get after you set the pressure sensitivity. So what I do is I got me a new layer. I make a color pink because I start out with making my blueprint of whatever I'm drawing. And I bring the opacity down some, probably 50 in the 50s. Now we're gonna start with we're gonna start with our sketch. How we going? Kind of the layout. I don't just go in it doing the line work. I start out with a sketch. Now that we got the blueprint all laid out or how we gonna do everything, now it's time to add the line work and a little fine detail before we start coloring. So now we can start doing the line work. So what you wanna do is create you a new layer. Come over here and get the color black and just make those fine tunes.
now that we finally finished with the line work what we're gonna do is select everything we're gonna go to object expand appearance and we're gonna click merge on our pathfinder so we can make all our lines one we're gonna come up to our layers and make a copy of our line work lock the top layer now Find a good skin tone. Okay. Do. I'm gonna try that color over the picture with our rectangle tool. Right click the color, go to arrange, send to back. And after we do that, we're gonna select everything and we're gonna click merge so we can merge the color with the line work. Right click onto the color, isolate selected group. And now, every group that's isolated, we can make individual changes to it. Another thing I like to do, I like to click this drop down me menu, click it again, and lock all our black line work. And I'm gonna show you why. Okay, I'm gonna lock all this, except these two. And now I do that so say it won't select the line work, it'll just select the colors in between when I'm trying to color in tight spots. You don't gotta worry about me making a mistake and clicking onto your line work, you just click the colors. So let's go ahead. that we got the base color down it's time to go in and do the shading so what we finna do is add another layer in between now it's time to do the shading 